What's up guys, Baneman, Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome back to another Tekken 8 in 8 minutes. Now we're gonna do Paul Phoenix, one of my favorite characters. How can you not love him? How can you not love this guy? He is simply the best. The, what is it he says? The strongest in the universe, and he certainly is in Tekken 8. Uh, and it's all about heat with Paul, and the Death Fist. I think you've probably seen that one before. Uh, Paul has the scariest heat in the game, in my opinion, and that's what your game plan is going to be when you play Paul. You're going to activate heat, preferably with a heat engager, and then you are going to kill your opponent. That's basically it. But first off, I'm just going to tell you that Paul is a very um, interesting, well-balanced character. Just like his best friend Law, he, is, he has great offensive options and super good defensive options. He's a really nice blend. Uh, where Law's offense is, you know, linking strong frames and what up, what up, what up, big frames, one move into another. Paul relies on the single strike, setting up a single hit and getting a big counter hit. But in my opinion, let's just start by looking at the defensive stuff. I'm gonna record Law doing jab, jab. Yes, please keep that. So in terms of defense, you saw that, right? This is his down for two. This is the best down for two in the game. It's a natural hit launcher with a ton of reach. It's only minus eight on block and it hardcore beats the most important attack in the game. Jab is the most important attack in the game. 10 frame startup, decent reach, plus eight on hit, plus one on block, sets up offense. The most important attack in the game. Pulls down for two, 100% smokes jabs. This alone is unbelievably strong. So it's pretty legit actually with Paul to just do la 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 keep out, down for a two. And then other defensive stuff you have is a very strong backswing blow in uh, back one plus two. This is actually safe on block at minus six. You can also press forward one four to do a super evasive shoulder that is minus 14 on block. This is really strong. If you sway back or circle back, you have a backswing blow in 1 plus 2. This is also minus 14 on block. It's a very strong attack. You have a counter. You have back forward 1, which gives a free death fist. I believe this is also safe on block, but a high. Crazy defensive options, right? But so for the offense, you do this, your, your single hits. Like Hammer of the Gods. Plus 3. Any counter hit you get, it hurts a ton. Core circle back 4. This is plus one on block. Super good homing. Super long reach attack. So strong as keep out. Combined with down for two. So basically, counter hit. And then you enjoy some of the highest combo damage in the game. Basically. Everything just hurts a ton like Paul. With Paul. And you know, death fist. So powerful single hit strikes is the name of the game. Your poking is not that good. Right? Jab is kind of bad. And also, in terms of aggression with Paul, like, from this range, you're not that threatening. You threaten with Ford for 2-1, Kurosoko Ford 3, which is a good low, though. Ton of reach uh, on counter hit, gives a lot of nice, juicy stuff. Kurosoko back 2 is a safe mid heat engager. But you're not that threatening in general. But this character completely changes when he's up close. Because now you threaten it, you're threatening it with a very strong throw game. 1 plus 2 break, 1 break, 2 break. You also have a wall splatting throw in Ford Ford 1 plus 2. So that you access from this re range. And now you also have the Demo Man, which is by far your most threatening low. It tracks to both sides and huge damage. And can even place them on the wall, right? If, uh, if the spacing is correct. For a million damage. Note for that it's launch punishable on block. But you have to be up close to use it. Because if you're not up close. It hits from here. It's guarded. And you're very minus. But your entire game plan. Again I talked about heat. With this character. It's going to be land a heat engager. Because walls is everything. Pretty much every stage has walls. And your game plan is. As soon as you start is. Where's the wall? Make sure your opponent has his back towards it, and now land one of your amazing heat engagers. They're amazing. This is a high, plus five on block, heat engager. Mixed with infinite reach, forward four. Note for reach. Homing mid, <laughs> that's safe on block. And he jumps. So land your heat engager, and now heat engager happens. 
They go towards the wall, right? The Heat Engager helps you. And now you're plus 17, and now he has to take my mix up. Heat Death Fist is ridiculous. Minus 13 with pushback. Minus, it's basically safe, right? And then if it hits, congrats. Dude, you just won the round. Damn, you're really good. Well done. You are amazing. So land Heat Engager, he goes towards the wall. Take my fun mix up. If this counter hits, well, he's now extra dead. Oh, oh god, I even dropped the follow-up. But, but I hope you get the message, like, they die. And as you're at plus 17, he has to respect my mix-up. So again, heat death fist? Basically a joke. Again, this is the scariest heat in the game. Have your opponents back towards the wall, right? Land heat engager. They're so afraid of a death fist, they ain't gonna duck. So you can demo man here. Oh, there's the wall. Nice. Oh, he died. Awesome. Uh, but again, Demo Man is risky. And again, uh, again, and again, sorry. Heat Engager, plus 17, and you're right next to them. So you're in the reach for clean hit Demo Man. So his Heat Engager 50-50 might be the strongest in the game. Might be the strongest in the game. I just have to do this again because it feels so good. Again, wall has to be behind them. I win. I'm the best. Um... If you don't want to risk it when you heat engage, when you heat engage, if you don't want to take a big risk with demo man and still threaten a low, heat smash. Huge damage. Does huge damage. Do you know what it is on block? Minus 12. <laughs> it's almost a joke. This guy's heat. And again, after your stuff, you have him at the wall. Guard break. He has a heat guard break. Again, the best heat in the game, I think. If he respects this charge up, guard break. Yes. And again, you can vary the timing on this. If you think he's gonna interrupt you, just let it go. And it will probably counter hit. Uh, Paul is simply disgusting. And again, just everything hits so hard. I'm not showing optimal damage, but uh, it's like a truck. So again, game plan. Uh, yeah, hit one of your heat engagers, in my opinion. Uh, Hammer of the Gods for frames. From this range, you can threaten these options are really good. Uh, if you get up close, uh, your mix-up utility now is your strong throw game. And uh, a super impactful 50-50. But basically, make sure... Uh, Law or whoever it is, they have their back positioned towards the wall, land heat engager, and both characters move towards the wall, and then apply your ridiculous mix up. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this, this is how I play Paul. But, and you might say, oh my god, he's so brain dead, he's so easy, right? But the problem with Paul is that when someone's mashing in your face like this, it's not that fun being the character that relies on single hits. Because you need really strong timing to land these and score your counter hit. He's not very string heavy. While setting 1-2 is interesting into backsway, but uh, yeah, you can apply some sort of mix up here. Uh, but uh, powerful single hits, powerful timing. Hope you enjoy, Paul. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care.